A reading from Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Covenant they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it within their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Did you hear that reading? There was plenty in there about the law and about covenant. Covenant's another word for promise. It's like a super big promise. A super big promise like God promises. Well, you heard in, in the reading, God promises to be our God and, and God makes us God's people. And you heard all those words about the law. Well, you know, the law rules instructions and the the Bible has lots and lots of rules and instructions in them but it also has a great story about God and how God treats the people so this is one of those passages where God is inviting us to think differently about the law God says to Jeremiah I will write it on their hearts. Now that's kind of a funny thing to try and understand because, well, it's written in the book. How do you write it on a heart? It's sort of an expression to say, we think about it here. Hang on a second. I have another way we might think about this. You see this? You know exactly what this is. A toothbrush. I'm sure you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth maybe more than once every day. You brush your teeth a lot. And who taught you how to brush your teeth? Your mom or your dad taught you how to brush your teeth. Now, here's the question. Do you brush your teeth because you want to or because you have to? Think about that. Do you brush your teeth because you want to or because you have to? Oh, there's an or question. There might be a both and involved there too. I remember when I had braces and uh, if I didn't brush my teeth, ugh, my smile would look terrible and my mouth would start to taste bad right away. Ugh. It was awful. So I had to brush my teeth. But then again, I guess I really wanted to because I didn't want my mouth to look all that bad. Now, your parents might tell you, might remind you, might work on teaching you the habit of brushing your teeth. But when you decide that you want to brush your teeth, then it's you who wants to brush your teeth. This is a change in why. You don't really need your parents' rule anymore because you want to brush your teeth. Maybe your parents tell you, Oh, you're not going to like it if you don't brush your teeth and we take you to the dentist. That's, that's why I'm here. See, this is my dentist right here, Dr. Patel. And 
he takes care of my teeth for me. In fact, he's so good at taking care of teeth, it's part of who he is and how he thinks. There's a really good reason for taking care of your teeth. They're yours. <laughs> and you want to take care of yourself, your own body, your teeth are part of that. And so it's good practice taking care of your teeth. Good practice taking care of yourself so that you can be you and the very best you that you are. That would be that would be written in your heart. But you see how that takes a little extra practice and training? Here's another way to think about it. Why do you think your parents taught you to brush your teeth? Did they do it because it would make them feel better? They did it because they want you to feel better because they're thinking about you. They love you. And maybe that's why the expression is written in your heart. When we think about God, we want to think about God in the same way. That God loves us. God gives us plenty of rules and instructions to give us really good habits. And then we get to grow them in our hearts. Will you say a prayer with me? Remember, this is a callback prayer, so I say the part first, then it's your turn. You ready? Okay. Dear God, thanks for your love. You're all the time, no matter what love. Help us learn all the ways you want to show us this love. Help us learn how we can be grateful to you for all the love you write in our hearts so that we can show your love to everybody. And all of God's children said, Amen. Thanks for joining me. And you can say a prayer when you're brushing your teeth. Thanks. Bye.